Welcome back to consecutive day 1140 of a diary of a rumpreneur. And in today's episode, I want to talk about overcoming my competitive spirit when injured. So remember to give this a subscribe, share, like, and comment as more people we get in front of. The more money we raise on my fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. All the information about the challenge, how you can get involved, is in the link in the comments below. Thank you as always, and let's get started. So consecutive day 1140 of a diary of a rumpreneur and um, today's topic is um, overcoming my competitive spirit when injured. So um, I'm over here in Norwich staying with um, some of my oldest friends um, for the weekend and um, I've got a place at Run Norwich which is a 10k uh, race around the key landmarks of Norwich, which is a beautiful city if you've never been in East Anglia. And um, it's, a, it's a 10K, it's road-based, it's a big event. There's about 8,500 runners for a 10K, which is huge. Um, one of the biggest 10K races in the country. So um, it's a cool event, lots of uh, cool things happening here. And when I would do a race, you get the adrenaline, you get the competitiveness, you want to post the time, all those types of things. And um, Unfortunately, at the moment, I'm still struggling with plantar fasciitis. It's been over three months now with it. It is easing somewhat, but it's definitely still causing me uh, significant discomfort when running and even walking. So <laughs> as I'm running through it due to my running challenge, putting any unnecessary stress or pressure on it, trying to post a, a decent time when injured is not sensible. So how do I overcome that? Because what generally happens when I go to a race, I say, oh yeah, I'll just be sensible. Then I get caught up in the kind of competitive spirit. I end up pushing myself and I could end up getting injured. So how am I going to overcome that? Well, my plan for tomorrow's race is I'm going to vlog it. Um, it gives me a whole new purpose in the race to try and capture the experience of running the event, trying to capture the cool landmarks that I'll be passing, you know, Norwich Castle, Norwich Cathedral, Carrow Road, Norwich City Football Stadium, to name a few. Um, so I'll vlog every kilometre, I'll vlog the start, the finish, I'll try and capture the experience. And uh, hopefully that'll be useful for anybody in the area who's considering running the race to see what it's all about. So um, but my learnings, from the learnings from my diary for today, as I summarise the episode, is um, to curb competitiveness when you're injured is really challenging. And what you need to do is you need to shift your focus. So I'm now getting ready for tomorrow uh, to run the event. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try and capture the best experience I can on my vlog, um, rather than focus on the quickest time. So I've got a completely different focus. And hopefully that's going to help me significantly in controlling my pace, enjoying the event, get, be, getting the best footage I can possibly get as opposed to trying to be the fastest runner I can be on that day. It'll take away my focus from my injury, from trying to run quick, and uh, hopefully that'll keep me fit and well to continue on my, the bigger picture, my running journey to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. So that's it for me today. Any questions or comments, drop me a line, I'll respond to everyone. Uh, remember to give this a subscribe, share, like and comment as the more people we get in front of, the more money we raise on my fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. All the information about the challenge, how you can get involved is in the link in the comments below. Thank you as always, stay positive, stay happy, and I'll see you again tomorrow.